Hey guys, it's time to do the camera test between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus versus the iPhone 10. The S9 Plus is having a record-breaking f1.5 aperture with Tronlexel dual camera sensor, uh, both having optical image stabilization. The iPhone 10, on the other hand, rocks 12 megapixel dual camera with OIS on both lenses with f1.8 aperture. On the front, we got an 8 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S9 with f1.7 aperture and 7 megapixel on the iPhone 10 with f2.2 aperture. Now, before we begin this test, I want to remind you that I am giving away a Galaxy S9. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is to subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm most active, and follow me on Twitter, that's where I'll be announcing the winner, and lastly, leave a comment below. Now, let's see how the best of Samsung and best of Apple will stack up in a real life camera battle. Let's start with the fresh garden shot and uh, looking pretty good on both phones. The Galaxy is towards the lighter side. The iPhone with a bit high contrast. Zooming in on the details, the Galaxy seems to be just a little bit sharper. A close-up flower war and uh, look at the difference in the colors. I mean, I captured these photos at the same time on both phones, like almost at the same time and look at the color difference. Both are pretty sharp here, but when you zoom in at 200%, the Galaxy feels a little bit bit more sharper. However, the iPhone is definitely more accurate with the colors compared to the S9. In this flower war, the Galaxy is slightly better with the depth of field, but the iPhone takes the crown when it comes to the colors if you look at the middle part. All right, sky is the limit. We have this beautiful image uh, looking pretty good on both phones. The iPhone is still the king of dynamic range. Uh, if you look at the sky, if you look at the cloud, uh, it definitely looks a little bit better on the iPhone, but the Galaxy is ahead when it comes to exposing the darker area of the image, zooming in on the wall. Uh, you can see the S9 Plus is clearly uh, the sharper one with the details having less grain. And if you notice the house in the far background, uh, it'll definitely look sharper on the S9. Moving on to an interesting situation where the sun was just beaming down on this house. It was so bright. And in this situation, the iPhone manages to come on top with the help of its uh, high contrast or intelligent contrast, whatever you want to call it. If we zoom in on the pink tiles, you can see that it looks slightly better on the iPhone, while the S9 is sort of losing a little bit of detail there because of a slight overexposure. Moving on to the selfie, and the Galaxy S9 does rock a selfie-focused mode. Uh, the iPhone also has a portrait selfie mode. Both of them struggles with the depth sensing. It's not good at all, but the image is definitely better on the iPhone 10, The Galaxy is just too creamy and not capturing as much details as the iPhone if you look at the background. Now without the blur, you can see that the iPhone selfie is much superior here. If you look at the gate in the back and the grass, uh, details are far more sharper compared to the S9's creamy selfie. Similar situation where sun is beaming down on this plant uh, with a little bit of shadow above and uh, it's a little bit different scene than the house I showed you before. Upon zooming you can see that it's quite a lot sharper on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus uh, while the iPhone is not as sharp. Another situation where I have focused the camera on the sky and both are doing okay job at first look but when you see the darker part of the image, the Galaxy destroys the iPhone with a huge day and night difference thanks to its super low aperture. Uh, it's been able to brighten up the darker area of the image in the most difficult scenarios. Now time for some live focus versus the portrait more war. Uh, in a difficult situation where the background is super bright behind the subject, the Galaxy feels more bright uh, with this stronger blur effect while the iPhone is doing a better job with its contrast and and also if you look at the arm, the blur on the Galaxy is washing out a bit. Uh, I think the iPhone definitely wins this one. A bit more accurate with the, with the blur effect and also the color look just better on the iPhone. In the normal uh, live focus slash portrait mode shot, you will see the results are pretty good on both of them. It's a matter of personal preference. You might like the Galaxy because of its soft touch uh, or the iPhone with its slightly high contrast. Either way, the depth effect is almost perfect on both phones. All right, checking out the difficult portrait selfie shot on both phones with the background, a brighter situation, and both are pretty bad. You're better off taking a normal selfie. Quick macro shot, uh, which is looking pretty sharp on both phones. 
and uh, having a great depth of feel. In this image, the iPhone looks great with its contrast, the wall where we have the sun is shining, it looks slightly better. Uh, but the S9 wins when it comes to the far objects in the picture. If we zoom in at the house wall, it's definitely sharper than the iPhone. Another live focus versus portrait mode, and here the iPhone uh, is the clear winner. A quick macro shot looking great on both phones, really sharp. Again, slightly high contrast on the iPhone, uh, which makes it more attractive slash Instagram ready, but the Galaxy is also doing just fine. Another focus shot, and the Galaxy is definitely strong with the background blur compared to the iPhone. And in this situation, the brighter image on the S9 is slightly at an advantage, but it's gonna come down to the personal preference. In this image, it's your boy just chilling out, and the iPhone is clearly better one here. If you look at the whole picture, the background, the contrast and everything, uh, capturing the shadows, the Galaxy is just a bit too soft. Also, the image looks uh, sharper on the iPhone. Lesson of the day, do not take portrait selfies with another person, it's just garbage. All right, moving on to the hard level. We got some indoor shots, looking nice on both of them, but the Galaxy is just handling the light reflection a little bit better. Next up, it's a low light room shot with your boy holding the juice. And upon zooming, you can see it's a more detail and sharper on the S9 uh, compared to the iPhone. You know, the text is much more readable. Next up is Sleeping Baby, and I like this one on the iPhone with its natural color. The Galaxy is trying hard to brighten up, and in the process, it loses the naturalness in these kind of situations. Next up, we have a normal shot of this colorful bulb and uh, looks slightly better on the S9. Indoor keyboard shot, and clearly the S9 is just so OP with its uh, background blur, F1.5 kicking in, amazing depth of field. A foodie picture, and uh, again, this is one of the situations where Samsung or you know S9, it should not try to brighten stuff up so much. Uh, the iPhone with its contrast, it, with its natural image, is looking a lot better. A low light flower war, and the Galaxy destroys. It's truly the low light king. It's so sharp, and uh, you can. Definitely see that iPhone is struggling a lot here with the background, so much grain in the picture. Another low light image uh, looking nice, but if you zoom in on the details, it's much sharper on the Galaxy S9, hence the text is more readable. Another low light shot looking decent on both phones, but upon zooming, the Galaxy is just too overpowered. I mean, F1.5 is amazing. Uh, the clarity, the text is all sharper than the iPhone. You can even read the super small uh, text if you try hard. Now a super dark, unrealistic image, like no one would take a picture in this situation. But just to show you the capability of the S9, you can see if you do take a picture uh, in this situation, you can rely on the S9. With F1.5, things can be a lot brighter. All right, bringing out the low light macro game and the Galaxy is doing much, much better. The iPhone was just not focusing on the subject for some reason because of super low light, I guess. I tried it several times, but it didn't work out. Now a sweet light night portrait shot on both phones. And finally, a picture where I can say the iPhone destroys the Galaxy S9 Plus in this picture. Looking at the live focus, just didn't work out in this scene. It's just blurring the, you know, making the face look like a cake. Hence, the iPhone did a better job and is also more sharper. A quick night selfie and the Galaxy is doing better in this scenarios. I mean, it has a low aperture while the iPhone is just a little too dark, but overall, after taking a lot of selfies, I'm definitely convinced that iPhone does have a better front camera. And lastly, in this low light night tree image, the Galaxy is doing a fine job while the iPhone, uh, not so impressive with the uh, low light area of the image. And now let's take a look at some of the video samples. All right, time for a 4K video comparison. And I'm just standing here in the shadow uh, so you can see which phone clears up the background better. You can definitely see that on the Galaxy S9, you can see the house far away seems a little bit more clear while the iPhone has this background all bright right let's do a bit of close focus
a really bright sunny day. Both phones does have optical uh, zoom up to two times, so you can do that easily. Thanks to this additional dual camera. So let's see, okay. Quick autofocus speed check. All right. Seems like the speed is pretty quick. Both phones. Now I'm just walking around a little bit fast to check the optical image stabilization. Quick autofocus test. So I'm focused on the flowers and you can see that the background is much more clear on the Samsung Galaxy S9. All right, now I'm focus, focusing on the background. The iPhone is now capturing the details good. But when I switch back to the subject in front of me, the iPhone just blows the exposure and it's not clear. Yes, Time Plus is definitely doing a better job there. I so quick front camera video walking around move a little fast just holding the phones with my hands not using anything else you can definitely see the uh, uh, stabilization It's the night time and uh, there's someone doing the lighting out here. 
yeah, you can see the quality. Uh, definitely the Galaxy is looking super bright. And both phones have the ability to optical zoom, of course. We're moving into some of the light. As you can see, it just looks super bright on the Galaxy S9 Plus. And we're going to move towards that dark part. You can see really far away that the S9 is able to provide more light thanks to f1.5 aperture. While the iPhone is definitely a lot darker. So, Okay, so quick little test of the front camera video. And uh, basically I'm just walking around the street and uh, we do have a street light as you can see it's above my head so let me know what you think about the quality i'm walking around again holding the phones in my hand there is no thing to hold just my hand and uh should be able to see the stabilization so look at the background the Galaxy S9 is more darker while the iPhone is doing a little bit better job at least from this from what I can tell with the display so yeah guys that was a huge in-depth camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the iPhone 10 I will hope that this video will help you to decide uh, which one you should go for if you're really serious about camera but overall in my opinion in my testing both phones have a really awesome back camera the live focus the portrait mode the Galaxy is a little bit better in a low light situation. Things will come up sharper. Whereas the front camera on the iPhone is definitely superior to the front camera of the Galaxy. So again, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.